It is one of the most important drugs in the fight against COVID-19 and was the very first to be approved as a treatment for the virus last year. Now scientists at UC San Diego believe they have come up with a way to improve remdesivir. Good evening, I'm Lindsay Pena. And I'm Steve Atkinson. Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain the drug's flaws and the new formula local researchers invented to address them. About half of all Americans hospitalized with COVID have gotten remdesivir. It remains the only drug fully FDA approved to treat the virus, and it's been prescribed to more than 7 million patients worldwide. Studies show remdesivir helps hospitalized patients recover faster, shortening the average hospital stay from 15 days down to 10. But there have been mixed results on whether the drug actually improves survival rates. Remdesivir is really a good drug, and it can really help people after they're in the hospital. But most of the mischief the virus does uh, happens before you're in the hospital. UC San Diego infectious disease expert Dr. Robert Shuley says the biggest problem with remdesivir is that it has to be given through an IV. Once it's inside the body, the drug works by blocking the virus from making copies of itself. And by the time you're in the hospital, most of the damage is from the immune response, not the virus. And uh, what we need are uh, oral drugs that you can give before people get into trouble uh, so that they don't end up in the hospital. In a new paper, Dr. Shuley and other scientists at UC San Diego announced a promising solution. They took a fragment of remdesivir and tweaked it so it can be given in pill form. And that's not all. In early lab tests, it's up to eight times more active than the original drug. We started very early in the beginning of the pandemic. Our chemists uh, came out of retirement to do this. A team led by UCSD's Dr. Carl Hostetler designed the new formula using a technique they've been honing for more than two decades. They essentially took the fragment of remdesivir and attached a microscopic stick of butter to make it easier for the body to absorb. So our active compounds uh, require only one step instead of four. Their one-step solution lets the drug reach more parts of the body, like the kidneys that regular remdesivir has a hard time getting to. This one step is in virtually every cell in the body so that any place the virus is, uh, this drug can go, and remdesivir is a bit more limited. The pill also appears to last longer. It can circulate within the body for more than 24 hours. Regular remdesivir is practically gone after just an hour. Whenever the drug is present, the virus can't replicate, and if the drug gets down to low concentrations, the virus picks up and starts growing again. Dr. Shuley says the NIH has approved funding for the next round of testing, but to get it to human trials quickly, they'll likely need backing from a large drug company. If they can get it, they're hoping to start clinical trials next year. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. UCSD wouldn't say if the maker of remdesivir is on board with the investigational drug and Gilead Sciences declined to comment on the study. But the company did confirm to 10 News it is exploring pill treatments for COVID and said it plans to submit the paperwork needed to start clinical trials by early next year.